The most famous reindeer of all. Charles. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally doing this. Follow me on social media at Danya Loves You if you haven't already, and please subscribe to my channel. So many of you guys are here from my weight loss video. If you haven't watched that, please go watch that. And thank you for coming back. Cause you guys have been waiting for this one. I know. Here I am to deliver for you. First off, thank you so much for all of the freaking love on that video. I did not think that that many people were going to see it or watch it. And I have no words. We are about to go into the kitchen and I'm about to cook you up some stuff, you know? But before I do, we gotta talk about a few things. First off, disclaimer, again, I'm not a doctor, nutritionist, coach, dietitian, any of those things. I'm just a little girl in this big world, okay? Who wanted to make a lifestyle change. Based off some comments in the weight loss video, people were coming for me. I told you not to come for me, but y'all still came for me, but you know, it's fine, what do you expect? I'm only sharing what worked for me, okay guys? And I'm freely giving that information out, so take it or leave it, preferably take it, but hey whatever you want to do now when it comes to the food i can't tell you like what to eat and what you can't eat and also all of our bodies are so different some of us might need more food or a little less food so here are the main things i want to put out there there are no food restrictions whatsoever no food is off limits that's number one number two is that i did not calorie count okay i do believe again that you should be in a calorie deficit i was like not focused on counting every single calorie There's nothing wrong with calorie counting i just personally didn't do it it. I just knew that if I started controlling my portions and if I started changing my habits and if I started working out I knew that my body had to start making some kind of changes. I did an intermittent fast but I did make sure that I tried to eat two hours prior to me going to bed just so my stomach had kind of like rested before I went to sleep. I also plan to make a ton more of what I eat in a day because there's just not enough recipes for me to be showing you in one video or we're going to be here forever but Hopefully I can give you guys some inspiration through this video just to get something started, you know, and just to give you some ideas. And that's really my goal here. It's just inspiration. This was a whole lifestyle change because I knew that I can stick with this. I'm like, I can eat everything all the time. I wasn't restricting myself of any type of food. I never felt like I was missing out on any food, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't like, oh, once this is over and I lose this weight, I can't wait to have ice cream. Like it wasn't like that because occasionally I would still have ice cream because nothing was restricted. These are recipes that I've played around with that I love to make and I look forward to all the time, even now, like I look forward to making these foods. And honestly, the important thing is we have to keep things simple. I think when we start like thinking really hard about like going all out dieting and working out five days a week, like who wants to do that all the time? Like nobody. Not make it harder than it needs to be, okay? There's just simple changes that we need to make in our life and adjust to make big changes, okay? You know, take whatever you can from it, that's fine. You don't have to eat everything that I eat. Take something from here and there and make it your own. Play around with foods, but make sure that you love the foods that you're gonna make. If you're not gonna like the food that you're eating, why would the heck you wanna eat it? Tell me. Think you wanna like the food that you're eating, huh? You know I do. I am here to remind you that I believe in you. You can do it. Also, if you have anything negative to say, anything like if you're looking at me right now and you feel like you're about to tie something not cute <clears throat> i want positive vibes only on my channel okay i want people helping each other out that's it if you're negative <laughs> zip it up a doo over there okay thank you so much so in regards to portion control there are a few things that i actually would measure with the food scale just to make sure that i'm getting the appropriate amount and that i'm not going over those portions so the first one is going to be our protein i personally did not eat more than 12 ounces of protein a day so i would try to get 12 ounces of protein a day and i usually would eat three meals a day so i would try to divide that 12 ounces between three meals and basically that is four ounces per meal some days maybe I didn't eat breakfast. Okay, well, I still wanna get my 12 ounces of protein in, so I'll have six ounces for lunch and six ounces for dinner. That's fine too, as long as I was getting those 12 ounces in. And you can decide what that protein is for you. The second thing I kept track of were my complex carbs, which is like my bread and my rice, my cereal, my granola, my oatmeal. Just to let you guys know, carbs are also in vegetables and fruit. So I'm not talking about that. I would keep that complex carb limit at two servings a day. 
One serving of a complex carb is about 30 grams a day. So that's 60 grams total of carbs that I could eat. And then the other thing I try to keep track of are my fruits. I would have no more than two servings of fruits a day. An example of this would be like one banana and one cup of berries. That's two servings of fruits a day. This is something you guys can also Google in case you're wondering like how many servings is a cup of berries or how many servings is an orange, etc. And the last thing I try to keep track of is my fats. I would have two servings of fats a day, and that would include things like yogurt, avocado, olives, nuts, all those wonderful great things, right? Next for vegetables, that was unlimited. I did not count anything for vegetables. Have all the vegetables you want because we all love vegetables, right? Right. <laughs> okay, I think it's enough talkie talkie. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's do some recipes and get a better idea of how I was eating every single day for my 60 pound weight loss, even though now it's technically almost 70. All right, guys, here we are in the kitchen, ready to cook up some stuff. Again, I'm not no professional chef either, so, so don't, don't come for me. But the first thing that we're going to be making is my avocado toast. Mmm, looks so good. I know, I know, I feel like so many people make avocado toast, but honestly, it just is that freaking good. So these are my two favorite breads to use for my avocado toast. Um, now, usually I get the whole grain version of this, but it's literally been out for months. I don't know where it is or what happened, but I haven't seen it. And then this is my sourdough bread that I get from Trader Joe's. I try to stick with whole grains as much as I can, but don't make it a big deal if you can't find everything whole grain. Whole grain bread is usually more on the expensive side, and we didn't got time for that. For this one, the carb of one slice of bread is 11 grams. For this one, the carb for one slice of bread is 24 grams. So all that means to me personally is that two of these breads will count as my one carb serving for the day versus one of these slices will count as my one carb serving for the day. So it just depends when I'm gonna have the rest of the day and which bread I wanna have. But the point is, I'm eating bread, okay? And this is everything that I'm gonna be using for my toast. Go ahead and give it a try like I've never tried it before. I eat this freaking every day. <laughs> but for the camera, let's do a taste test. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, I just. Mm. No! Okay. Here's the thing, I don't want you guys to get discouraged on not making something just because you don't have that item, if you know what I mean. Like just because you don't have everything but bagel seasoning, that's fine. I'm sure you have some seasoning, even salt and pepper is fine, that's okay. If you don't like red pepper flakes, take the dang red pepper flakes out. Don't put them in there, it's fine. Also, don't worry about if you have brown eggs, white eggs, purple eggs, yellow eggs, who cares what color eggs they are, they're eggs. Okay, let's, let's keep it simple and just eat the dang eggs. Of course, certain things might be healthier or less healthy, but it's really, it's freaking eggs. Okay, let's just not focus on those extra little things because this is hard enough as it is to do. And if I have to focus on the color of my egg, I don't have time for that. I'm gonna finish this up and then let's go ahead and make lunch. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be making is chicken, veggies, and rice. Yes, yes, we eat rice up and her, we definitely do. My chicken and my veggies are going to be made in the air fryer, but don't let that discourage you. Just because you don't have an air fryer doesn't mean you can't make this. Make the chicken however way you make your chicken. I'm just gonna show you how I make mine, okay? I also wanna talk about convenience. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like people live busy lives and sometimes we like things to be made easier for us. Just because it's easier and more convenient doesn't doesn't make it any less worse, if that makes sense. Like it's still great, still amazing. I'm all about convenience because we live busy lives and sometimes we don't be having time for all that. So I love these rice packets from Trader Joe's. This is great, so, so great. You take the bag, throw it in the microwave for three minutes and it's done. I freaking love this. This is their brown rice. They have all kinds of different rices as well. Now, do you just have to eat brown rice to lose weight? Of course not, eat whatever rice you can. I prefer brown rice, I like it, but no biggie. I eat white rice too. Again, with the white, yellow, brown, green, who cares what color it is, it's rice and we're gonna eat it, okay? Love, love, love these Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's because they're 
They're already cut up for me and I just throw them in the air fryer and roast them up. Super easy. If you don't have an air fryer, that's fine. You can put them in a pan, you can roast them in the oven, whatever you want to do. Also from Trader Joe's are these frozen carrots. These are already pre-seasoned with olive oil, thyme, sea salt, and black pepper. So these are just some of my favorite vegetables I like to use. You guys have to find vegetables that you guys would like to use, okay? It might not be this, but you guys have to find something that you like. You don't have to like everything. I don't like everything, but what I do like and when I find something that I do like, I'm trying to keep that. Because if you're anything like me, I don't really like vegetables, okay? I'm sorry, but I don't. These, I can tolerate. I like them, I season them up, and I love it. So you guys have to find foods that you love so you can actually want to eat them, okay? So you're gonna see me use balsamic vinaigrette a lot um, because I just find that it's really good. It's a great topping, especially for my vegetables. And these are my two favorites. This is from Sprouts and this is from Trader Joe's. Make sure it's an actual vinaigrette or glaze that's thick, not a balsamic vinegar. This is the olive oil spray that I use most of the time when I cook. I use an olive oil spray instead of the actual oil, just depending on what the meal is. This just is going to be a lot lighter for me and I'm saving on a lot of fat when I use this instead of olive oil. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using for my vegetables. <laughs> going to be using for our chicken breast. So for your chicken breast, in my opinion, the key to a nice juicy breast is making sure that it's not too thick. So I do like to smash up my breast. <laughs> it came out so weird. Also, I'm showing you all the seasonings that I use, but I switch it up all the time to get different flavors out of my chicken. Whatever is more simple for you. Season your chicken however you want to season your chicken. Make it however you want to make it. I personally just put mine in the air fryer because it's so quick for me and it always comes out so juicy and I love a juicy chicken, you know? All right, let's go ahead and cook up our chicken and then I'll go ahead and show you how I measure the serving size for the protein for this chicken once everything is done. <laughs> I'll go ahead and link it down below for you guys, but you can use any food scale if you already have one, don't buy one, but it really, really helps because it allows me to keep track of how much I'm actually eating. So with my veggies, again, that's unlimited, so I don't measure that because if you love veggies or you can, please <laughs> eat as much as you please. Now with the rice, a half a cup is usually gonna be one serving of my carbs. So half a cup of rice is gonna be one of my carb servings for the day. And for the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and place the plate on my food scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure four ounces of chicken and that's gonna be one of my protein servings for the day. Now let's say that I didn't have breakfast and I'm only gonna have lunch and dinner today. I'm gonna go ahead and add more chicken and make it at least six ounces to make sure that I'm getting six ounces for each meal to get my total of 12 ounces of protein for the day. And then to top off my roasted veggies, I'm gonna add some more balsamic juizo. So when I start eating the food, about halfway is when I start really asking myself, okay, Am I hungry? How do I feel? Am I now eating just to eat or am I eating because I'm still hungry? Like, start talking to yourself and listening to your body and what your body needs. This chicken breast actually was really large. Like, it's normally not this large of a breast. Mm. Mm. I don't know if it's just extra good today, but it's good. Of course, I sprinkled some balsamic vinaigrette because, oh, sorry about that. It just makes it 10 times better for me to eat the vegetable, okay? Do what you gotta do. Not bad at all. And obviously, rice. We all know what the rice tastes like. Mmm! I forgot to add soy sauce. I can't believe I forgot, but just to make your rice even better, add some soy sauce or something. I like to add a couple drizzles. 
Yum. I can't believe I forgot my soy sauce. Okay, one more time. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. If you're still watching this, props to you because this is a freaking long video. <laughs> the next thing that we're gonna be making is my burrito bowl. Now, I make this burrito bowl literally like every day, but I use a different protein depending on what I have. Today, we're gonna be using salmon. Salmon is another great option I freaking love. I have salmon all the time. And then we have all this other extra stuff because <laughs> Yeah, girl's extra, okay? You don't have to have all this in your burrito bowl. I'm gonna show you everything I put in it. You can take away, you can put in, whatever you wanna do. This is your burrito bowl, okay? This is not about me, this is about you. I'm just here to help you guys and give you guys some inspiration and ideas. So let's go ahead and make our burrito bowl. So I've already gone ahead and measured four ounces of salmon as my protein portion for my meal. Again, convenience. I like having these bags ready to go for my salads, my protein bowls, whatever else I want to have because your girl ain't got the time to be chopping up lettuces, okay? Here's everything that I'm going to be using for my burrito bowl. And here's what I'm going to be using for my salmon. So for my bowl, of course, I like to add some kind of sauce. For me, that usually is always sriracha. I love putting sriracha on it. When it mixes in with the Greek yogurt, it's great. Greek yogurt is a great substitute for sour cream. It's a lot lighter and I can have more of it. I love feta cheese. If you don't have feta cheese, use regular cheese. I use regular cheese all the time. Again, do whatever you wanna do. It's your bowl. Make it your own. Make it something that you're going to love. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Ooh. <laughs> Are you farting? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm really tooting my own horn here. Toot toot. Mmm. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'm going to make one more thing for you guys, which is my favorite dessert that I go to almost every single day, pretty much to this day, which is my acai bowl. So let's go ahead and do that. Mm. So now we're going to make my favorite dessert, which is my acai bowl. I personally get my sweet cravings at night. That's when they start to creep up. That's when that's the sugar, sugar dragons, dragons come, alive, come alive, okay? And that's when I'm like, you know what? Let me have my acai bowl. So like I mentioned earlier, I have my servings of fruits a day, which is about two servings. So instead of having fruit throughout the day, which I could do, most days I save all my fruit for the nighttime so I can use it in my acai bowl. So let me show you guys what I use. So this granola is my favorite granola. I used it throughout my entire weight loss journey. You can find this at pretty much any store you go to. And my favorite is the toasted berry crisp but they have a ton of different other flavors. For my acai bowls, I use the acai puree packets from Trader Joe's. Personally, I love this because one, it's the cheapest one I've ever found. Two, I love it because it's unsweetened acai and I just love that because it doesn't have any additional sugars on it. This is what the individual packet looks like and there's four of them in the bag. I do like to top off my acai bowl with some kind of honey because I feel like it makes it 10 times better. So you can use whatever honey you have. I use regular honey, but I ran out of it, so I bought this one from Walmart. And it's the sugar-free imitation honey. Um, it doesn't have to be sugar-free. I just was like, let me try this. But any honey is fine that you have. I do make my acai bowls in a food processor. Personally, for me, I've just noticed a difference in making it in a blender and a food processor. And a food processor gives me the perfect thickness that I want from my bowl, okay? Because I don't want my bowl to be liquidy, okay? This ain't a smoothie. This is a bowl, and I want to eat it. So I like it thick, okay? We like it thick around here. And here's everything that I'm going to be using for my acai bowl.
this bad boy a taste. I love to make this with different things, guys. Sometimes I do almonds, kiwi, chia seeds, whatever. Like, just, again, it's your bowl. This is literally, like, my nightly treat. Even though it's not a treat, it's a part of my daily life. Like, I eat this every freaking day. And I still lose weight. Ah! Made a mess. It was so good. I'm sorry. It was good. Mm. Okay. The way I eat is very realistic. It's very easy. You don't have to be a chef. It takes a little bit of time and effort, but you're doing it for you. You deserve time and effort on yourself. You, you are your first priority. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I put so much time and effort putting this together for you guys. You don't even know. I have tons more recipes that I want to make for you guys. The important thing is feeling good and doing it for yourself and making changes for yourself because it's your body and you're in control of that. I just want to say something. Everything that I made today is everything that I would eat in one whole day. Okay, I just want to make that clear. I think it's quite a lot of food. Occasionally I might snack, I might not snack. It just depends because all of this is about loving yourself, listening to your body. And if you think about it, for those of you who are like carbs, I had carbs with every single meal today. I had bread, rice, beans, and granola. Just saying, just saying. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me and have a great day. Okay.